Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Sukoden in the last episode. <clears throat> we, um, what the hell did we do? Oh, we beat the Imperial Army, the main Imperial Army, and now we're going to do some odds and ends before heading over to the, um, capital of, uh, Gregminster. And we purchased, I purchased two pieces of paint in the, um... The, uh, let's see. I purchased the yellow paint and the blue paint at the hardware store. If you looked at all the hardware stores, you should be able to buy them. And as you can see, look at the cool mural we got here. A mur mur whatever. Anyways, look at it. It's pretty sweet. That's the thing on the cover of the game or whatever. And he gives us binoculars. For what? What does that do? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, now he can search off for the color of freedom. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyways, um, we have old book, uh, what old book we got? Volume 5. And, uh, I'm gonna finish off the library in this game, too, in this area, too. So, let's look. We're missing a couple. Maybe two? Three? I got two. Three is there. Four is there. And that should be it. I mean, I'm pretty sure we got everything else. So what do, what do we have? Five? So the blacklist and piles of suspicious characters. Clive. Krutz. I think Ruby. Fusu Yu. Pismerga. Yeah, so what's this one? Oh, here we go. These are the antique things. They kind of show you what they look like, which is cool. Peeing boy, the kid's peeing. A knight statue, which would be pretty cool. And there you go. Uh, this one's about the tragedy at Kalika. This one's about Mace. Again. Oh, these are just craftspeople. Hmm. Okay, so we just need to get two more books. I know where to collect those. So let us go and collect them. Yeah, I'm going to try to get everything. Sound settings, window settings. I'm going to show you everything possible. Uh, again, I don't know why I'm walking down. And then uh, um, what I'm going to do is look over the list of uh, United Attacks I haven't done yet. And then I'm going to show those off as well. Alright, so let's go to one. Because here we can pick up a book at the bookshelf. That we might have forgotten to pick up. I, apparently, I don't... I didn't check bookshelves a lot in this game. Oh, we got Old Book Volume 3. The reason why I didn't check bookshelves too much in this game is because I know that you don't really, like, get a lot of stuff from it. So I was like, oh, I'm not going to look. Anyways, now let us head over to... The Dragon Den and pick up that one. Ask for teleportation. Alright, so there should be a book here. Maybe it's on the other side. Take good care of Futch. We got Old Book Volume 4. Alright, so let's go back and check those books out. Probably going to be about Dragon Knights and who knows what else. Alright. Uh, and yeah, I have Stallion in my crew to make this go by faster. Oh, one of the sound settings we can only get if if uh, the sirens dropped it, and she has a zard. Oh well. And then the window setting can be dropped by the Sunshine King in the Dragon's Den. And you know what? I'm not gonna get those. If you gotta get a rare drop, screw that. Screw that. Where am I going, library? Right. At least let's look at the books, and then we can like learn more history of the battle. Alright, so Knights of the Dragon, then Joshua Levent. Dragon Knights brought peace. Then a year later, they participated in the bonding ritual. If a child fails to bond before six, you'll never be a Dragon Knight. A dragon lives longer than a human, but a 
should a dragon knight die? Is dragon sorrow? Always oh, dragon will die out of sorrow. That's a shame. And then finally, this book here, Strategy of War. Arrow is stronger than magic. Magic is stronger than a soldier. The result knowing, blah, blah, blah. To know the enemy, blah, blah, blah. Ninja power. Also, this just kind of tells you how to uh, deal with the enemies here. Alright. So it kind of tells you how to do war. Probably should have gotten that book a lot earlier. Anyways, uh, now what? I guess Unite Attacks. Mm, I gotta go to the fourth floor. Let me see, let me see. Hmm. Alright, uh, give me a minute. Alright, we're back. I'm gonna show off some, um... I'm gonna show off some, uh, what the hell is it? <coughs> Unite Attacks. So let's do it. The first one I'm going to show off, I've done a couple of them. The first ones I'm going to show off are, this one's called the uh, Pretty Boy Attack. Formation. It involves Alan, Grand Seal, and Flick. So unite to do Pretty Boy Attack. And let's just defend and see how this works. Oh, that's very good. That does, uh, let's see. Oh, defend. Free boy attack does 2.5 times the damage, so that's not bad. Alright, so next, I'm gonna have to go grab some people. Alrighty, we're back, and I'm gonna do another battle with, I've got... Kirkus Stallion and his girly uh, Sylvania. So we're gonna show off a uh, a unite attack. We're gonna do elf attack first on one character, which we'll do it on Beast Commander. That's not bad. That does. Let's see. What's that one? Elf attack times two damage. So that's not too bad. So let's show off the next one. Now this one can actually be done with Kirkus, and it can be done with Stallion. It can be done with Sylvania, or it can do be done with Ruby. It's a wild arrow attack, and what this does is it hits all enemies for one times the damage, and then it makes whoever is in it unbalanced. So it's kind of cool. All right, we got another group here. Again, Camandol and Sansusuke. We're going to show off two Unite attacks with these guys. Alright, so defend, defend, defend. And Ken and Sansusuke can do a Carpenter attack. Let's see how that one works. Not bad. Now let's... No, 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 no. Oh, damn it. So the carpenter attack does times two damage without without decreasing the uh, without giving you a paralyzed, which is nice because you don't want to get paralyzed. Those are the best ones when you don't have to worry about being paralyzed afterwards. All right, so let's do the next one, which is called a fatal attack with Gen and Camandol. which does. Let's see. Times two damage, but it doesn't make any of them go crazy. So I'll be back with some more. Alright, we got ourselves another combination here with Kryn and Humphrey. Unite attack is called Bumpy. Oh, nice. He just whacks him in there. That's kind of funny. Anyways, I've never seen Warren in a battle, so that was kind of neat to see him. Alright, so yeah, that does times two damage and no, uh, no, uh, in, no, uh, you know, thing. Alright, we got Hicks and Tengar up next with their warrior attack. It does two times the damage. And 
and uh, no um, paralyze. Defend. Warrior's attack. I'm surprised Fitch doesn't. Uh, Oh, that's not bad. Nicely done, people. Nice job. We're back at it once again. This time we got Butch and Milia. If I can never get a chance, let's go here, monsters. Butch and Milia want to show you their Dragon Knight attack, which is times two the damage. No unbalance. But I think it only hits one person, which sucks. Oh, classic dragoons there, huh? Alright, let's whack him away. There you go, Fudge. Show him why you're a dragon knight there, yeah! All right, it's time for the pirates to show off their pirate attack, which is times 2.5 times the damage, and there is no, uh, there's no, uh, whatever, you know, paralyze or unbalance, which is pretty nice. Any day, no monsters. Yeah, but I'm glad I can show off all these Unite attacks, because usually I don't. I don't even bother. And I'm actually showing off a lot more characters than I've ever shown off. Ever. Pirates, go! Yeah, pirates! Who doesn't love them? Anyways, uh, next... Alright, back again we have uh, Fukin, Lucan, and Kai. We're gonna do a, an attack that does times three the damage, but does unbounce them for one turn. Oh shit, look at all these guys. Ugh, it only does it on one guy, huh? Yep. Flash the sunlight off their bald dome. What does? It unbalances them for one turn. That wouldn't be a bad attack for like. Well, actually, you know what? It's not a good attack. Reason being is because these old men they use stabs. They're main. Two out of the three should be magicians. So that's kind of not not that good. All right, we're outside with our ninjas. Kasume, Kage, and Fuma. We're gonna do a ninja attack, which is a very good attack, in fact. Come on, monsters, let's go. I don't got all day, I know you guys don't either. There we go, let's do our ninja attack. Nicely done there, ninjas. Let's, uh... Do it again? Sure. So it does times... 2.1... 2.5... Two and a half times the damage. And no, uh... No paralyze. Alrighty, we got ourselves Camille, Tengar, and Kasume. We're gonna be doing a pretty girl attack. Let's unite for the pretty girl against the beast commander. Pretty girls! Alright, so that's destroyed. That unbalances Kasume. And it does 2.5 times the damage. Finish these guys off. As you can see, Tur has a bucket on his head, meaning he could miss quite a bit, but he doesn't. Anyways, we'll do the next one. 
All right, we got Pon and Ronnie Bell. We're gonna do a beat 'em up attack, and also I'll show you the hate rune as well. Let's do a beat 'em up. Let's take on the Beast Commander. Pon's doing a lot of work there. Holy shit, she does a fireball. Yeah, and Pon gets a Pon gets the damage for the unbalancing, while uh. Ronnie Bell does something. Let's look up this hate run. Oh, that's what it is. She shoots fire. That's not bad. Apparently, whoever made the fat... The fact on that thing doesn't know how much damage that does. You know, that hate run's not too bad. Probably does, like, uh... Two times the damage for not even uh, not even doing anything. That's cool. All right, we're outside. We're gonna be taking on uh, some enemies with uh, Pon, Iki, and Morgan. If uh, someone would uh, attack me, anyways, they have uh, these guys have two interesting runes on them: the double beat rune. And the counter rune. The counter rune will just boost your counter attack. And the double beat rune, I think, um, somebody take double damage, but you'll do more, or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Let's uh, let's defend. Uh, defend. No. Okay. So you can't use the. I think that I forget what the double beat rune is. But let's do a martial artist attack, which apparently hits everybody. Wow. Wow! And this does times three the damage. Holy moly. On all enemies. Wow! That could be really good. Holy moly. Alright, we got two more to go. A beauty attack with Cleo, Eileen, and Valeria. Let's see how this one goes. Oh, lovely. And you can also do this attack with uh, Sonya as well. I'm not even going to bother showing it with Sonya if it's going to be the same thing. If they were going to attack with, like, weapons, I'd totally show up. But all they're doing is making... They're making death with kisses. So, I'm going to stop the video here because I've shown off all the uh, Unite attacks. In the next episode, we'll take a tour of the castle. And then we'll go and fight in Gregminster. Kenshin 1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.